Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am your host, Vortex, from mobilemusicpro.com, your home for mobile music production. And if you are new to the channel, what we do here is release weekly videos teaching people how to produce music on their iOS device. And in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to convert your audio to MIDI right on your iPad, right after this. And remember folks, if you do enjoy this content, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Now, a lot of people think that using apps to convert your real-time audio to MIDI is just for guitarists. And don't get me wrong, there are some amazing results that you can achieve with this app and a guitar. For example, using electric guitars to play bass or acoustic guitars to play synthesizers. It can get real fun real fast. But another great use case that does come into play for modern producers, especially those of us that can't play the guitar, is going to be extracting MIDI from loops. And in fact, audio loops are being used by producers pretty much everywhere these days. And there's a huge selection available out there for many great sources. And in fact, we have many different melody loops in a bunch of different genres on our website, and we'll have a bunch more on there by the end of the year. And don't forget to stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can download our brand new completely free MIDI pack that comes with 17 of the most common chord progressions. All right, and now with that intro aside, let's start trying to convert some of these audio loops to MIDI. All right, now the first thing that we're going to do is show you our current project, and then we're going to actually show you the steps of routing the MIDI from the MIDI Guitar app back into Cubasis. And then finally, we'll take a look at using the MIDI Guitar app as an AV3 insert effect. All right, now without further ado, let's take a look at this project. Now what I have here is a project with some drums and some bass and several different audio loops. And what we're gonna to try to do is extract the MIDI from these loops. Now I've actually already extracted the MIDI and then fixed it up a little bit, but we'll explore that more in just a minute. Now all of these loops will be coming from various different sample packs that you can find on our website. Now the first of those loops is going to be a guitar loop from our completely free Essential Synthwave pack. And let's just give that a quick listen so we can hear what that sounds like. All right, perfect. Now you definitely heard some different pitch bends, some different slides in there. Those are a little bit more hard to capture. So for today, we're just going to try to capture the lead melody or the lead melody notes that's coming from these loops. So now what we want to do is begin using the MIDI guitar app and get that MIDI routed into Cubasis. So to do that, we're going to be using the Audio Bus app. So first up, let's go ahead and open up Audio Bus. And for the input, we're going to put in Cubasis. So we'll scroll down to find Cubasis 3, get that inserted. And then in the middle for the effect app, we're going to use the MIDI guitar app. So we'll search down for MIDI guitar. We'll tap on MIDI guitar. And then for the output, you can just leave that blank for now. So now we have our audio routed correctly. We have our audio coming from Cubasis, which is going to be that loop inside of Cubasis, going into the MIDI guitar app. But now we need to tell the MIDI guitar app where to send the MIDI that it's going to generate. So we'll go into the MIDI section here in Audio Bus. And then for our input, we will be looking for the MIDI guitar app here. And once you do find your MIDI guitar app, you'll notice a right arrow here, which is going to display all the different instances. Now, currently, we only have that one instance open here, as you can see, instance A. So we'll tap on that. So now we've grabbed the MIDI that MIDI Guitar is sending out, and we need to send that over to Cubasis. So we'll tap on the output and hit plus. And we're going to send that over to the virtual MIDI bridge. All right, perfect. Now we've got our MIDI and our audio ready to go. So let's open up Cubasis and get this routed in. So we'll tap on Cubasis, get that open. And here we're going to add a new MIDI track. So we'll go to the bottom, click Add MIDI. And then let's just make this red so we can really see what this track is. And we'll rename this to record MIDI in. All right. And now what we want to do is set this to have no instrument. So we'll tap on the little piano. We'll tap on the left arrow and tap on no instrument. Now this means that this track will not be producing any sound. And that's fine with us right now because we're just trying to capture the MIDI. And we'll be able to hear the sound coming from the MIDI guitar app. But now we have to set up our routing. So we'll go to the routing tab and in the MIDI in, what we're going to do is select Audio Bus 3. So we'll tap on that. And that is about it for the routing process. And now we have to configure MIDI Guitar just a little bit. So we're going to open up that app now, tapping on MIDI Guitar. And the first thing that you want to do is choose an instrument so you'll be able to hear that MIDI that it's generating. So we'll go to the instrument here. I like to choose the piano, so we'll choose MDA Piano. And I do like to turn the mix all the way up as well. We'll turn the master down just a bit here. And what I like to do is set the tone even. So I just set this right in the even. So the line is perfectly straight. And I usually keep the gain and the velocity curve right in the middle in the center there as well. Now, this next step is going to depend on how you actually want to track your melody. 
Now what we're going to be doing is trying to get just the main MIDI notes out of the melody. We're not too concerned with chords or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to change from polyphonic to monophonic. And again, this works way better when you're trying to just extract the MIDI melody. Because otherwise, when you're sending all sorts of different sounds on it with delays and effects, and then a bunch of different chords, it gets a little confused on what to actually output. So after setting this to monophonic, the next most important step is to adjust your noise gate. Now this is going to be different for every single loop that you set, and it makes a really big difference each one of these little ticks that you choose. In fact, the difference between getting a good melody could be the difference between one or two of these little ticks. So make sure to get that dialed in just right so you can get the best sound possible. All right, looks like we're all set up here. Now we can use the audio bus controls in the top right hand corner to start from the beginning and start recording. But so you guys can see what's going on, I actually want to do this inside of Cubasis. So let's go ahead and open up Cubasis. We'll start from the very beginning here. What we're going to do is tap on this track so that only the MIDI track is set to record. All right, so we're all set to record. So let's hit the record button. So as you can see now, the MIDI recording in here is never going to be 100% accurate. And in fact, I don't care which app you are using to convert your audio to MIDI, it's never going to be 100% perfect. But it is going to get pretty close, and you'll just have to do some adjustments after that. So let's show you what we mean here. We have the adjusted MIDI for this. And actually, before you want to go back and play anything inside of Cubasis 3, what you want to do is disconnect your connection from Audio Bus. So we can just open up Audio Bus here, close out a MIDI guitar, and we'll just disconnect Cubasis. And again, you can just add that right back at any time if you want to do a different take. But let's go back into Cubasis now. What I want to do is remove that recording that we did and play back a different one that we did with a little bit more dialed in settings here. And again, it's not going to be perfect, but let's just hear what that sounds like one more time. And then we'll play the adjusted version after that. And this MIDI will be coming from a piano. So let's hear what this sounds like. All right, some of the interpretation there does get pretty funny. But if we open this up, you can see that right away there's going to be a ton of extra notes. So the first thing you want to do when you're editing this is to remove all these little ghost notes. And then what I do is I play this back with the actual melody, with the melody turned down a little bit lower, so that I can dial in those notes exactly. And that is what I did. So let's go ahead and hear the finished version after I modified that MIDI. Just double tap it so you can see it as well. You can see all those little ghost notes have been removed. But every single note that you see here was inserted by the MIDI guitar app. So let's hear what it sounds like. Perfect. Now let's play this back with the melody itself so that we can see how accurate we got. And hopefully you'll be able to hear the guitar in the background there underneath the piano. Let's play. Alright, perfect, and that only took a few minutes of adjustment after recording the original MIDI. Alright, now if you don't mind, I'd like to show you a couple other examples in addition to that one. So we have our second melody loop here, and let's hear what that sounds like. Alright, perfect, that melody was called The Suits, coming from our Memories Melody Pack on our website. Now let's hear the interpreted version that the MIDI recorded, and then we'll play back the adjusted version here. Now, let's hear this with the original melody to see how accurate we got. Alright, not too bad. Now let's move on to the final loop. So, let's hear what this sounds like.
So let's hear our interpreted version now. Again, just took a few minutes there with the melody playing in the background to get it just right. And let's hear it. Alright, cool. Now let's hear it with the melody in the background. Alright, alright, not too bad at all. Alright, and now finally, let's take a look at using the MIDI guitar app as an AUV3 effect in our insert effect slot. So we have that same melody pulled up that we just took a look at, which was the hole in one melody, and this was the moon guitar stem. And now let's go ahead and load an instance of the MIDI guitar app over the top. Now, unfortunately, the AUV3 implementation of this app definitely does make the text a little bit small. In order to see anything, you pretty much have to full screen it. Now, once we do have this app pulled up, we can start going through all of the different instrument settings, guitar settings, effect settings, and much more. But what's really fun is just to go to the presets. So we'll take a look at some of those here. And let's just try the classic organ first. But before we do that, let's go ahead and AB this so you can hear what it sounds like without the effect. And then we'll go ahead and enable it after the first loop. All right, now let's hear what this sounds like with the effect on it. So already a pretty dramatic difference there. But when we start going through these presets, you can really see how much this app can change a sound. And even if you take a look at the effects here, tapping on any one of these effects will load the additional settings or you can change the effect by tapping on the arrow. You can see there's a bunch to choose from here, including a tube amp, overdrive, delay, chorus, flanger, and much more. But what's cooler than that is you can actually even add AUV3 effects in here if you want. So you can really start to get pretty crazy. But let's just try a couple more presets here so you can really see how this can change any sound, whether that's coming from a guitar or a melody loop. Alright, so a pretty big difference there, as you can tell from adding the effects on this app. But there's definitely some more magic to be had when you start adding different effects on top of the MIDI guitar as well. So let's just set this back to one of the original settings here. We'll go back to something a little bit simpler, like that classic organ. Alright, let's close that. And then after you throw a Blease slow machine on top of that, it can really start to get interesting. And then finally, even after that, a perforator. So let's hear what that sounds like. All right, there you go. The possibilities really start to become endless when you start stacking these different effects. But don't sleep on the MIDI guitar app, folks. 
tons of great gems in there. All right, and now it's time again for our final thoughts. And if you are still rocking with us, then we just can't thank you enough for being here, especially those folks that are here every single Wednesday and Friday to watch our live streams and our live premieres. Now we hope that this video did convince you of at least one additional use case for this amazing MIDI guitar app. With all the different studio quality effects and the ability to add additional AUV3s within the app, you can really start to see how this app can become a super powerful effects processor. Now, if you do want to see this app used with an actual guitar, definitely make sure to check out the amazing YouTube channels like Jamie Malander, The Sound Test Room, and Jade Star. All those channels have fantastic tutorials using this app with real guitars, so definitely make sure you check them out. Now, we're not quite sure how advanced you are in your music theory skills just yet, but for those of you that aren't, we have a brand new pack that may help you out. This new pack is going to come with 17 of the most common chord progressions used in Western music. And in fact, these chord progressions cover pretty much 90 to 95% of all of those songs. Plus, it even comes with a bunch of piano charts showing you how to play those chords in case you do want to get out of your piano roll every once in a while. And you can grab this pack right now for 100% completely free at mobilemusicpro.com slash free. We're pretty much always releasing new stuff over here at Mobile Music Pro, so if you do want to keep up with everything that we're doing at the channel and be informed on all the latest mobile music news, deals, information, and more, then definitely make sure to check out our completely free newsletter at mobilemusicpro.com slash newsletter. And so, until next time, everybody, keep talking music, and we'll see you later. Hey everybody, Vortex here, and if you're not aware yet, we now have over 100 fully edited mobile music tutorial videos. And we make music every single Wednesday live on our channel right inside of Cubasis on our iPad. Plus, we also have a bunch of free sample packs, guides, and more at our website at mobilemusicpro.com free. And so if you are into that sort of thing, producing music on your iPhone or iPad, then definitely make sure to subscribe and check out the rest of the videos on the channel that we know you'll love.